All right, cool. So I just wanted to quickly uh, do a video regarding my MK3, my Arturia MK3. So I'm just going to, I just use a little webcam here and uh, show it off a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I can use the pads to open different things in Cubase, different pages. Um, I can use this to open up my plugins. Uh, it's pretty cool, but uh, you get Analog Lab Pro with it, which is really cool. So if I open that up, I can just click that middle button here. Uh, now I have to go over here. So that's, uh, I have a little, I'll show you really quick actually, cause it's actually pretty cool. Oops, you gotta click DAW. This is the only thing I don't care too much for, is that you have to make sure that the bank, pad bank is on DAW, and then you can go like that. So this is a little cassette insert that I have, and I just have it, um, yeah, so it's just a little cassette transport thing that I have. And so basically, <clears throat> I just have it automated here. And I have it automated so that the transport goes from play, from stop to play to rewind. And so it kind of gives us a little here. I'll do a. Yeah, so it's kind of like a little tape player going on and off and rewinding. It's pretty cool. Really excited because I get Analog Lab Pro for free. And so, of course, I have these Zone Zone vocals, and I heard those. Zone, 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 zone. Welcome to the zone, zone. Yeah. And the neat part is, and what you're hearing is just the sound of that tape playing. You, all the control you need for all of these macros, obviously, on the keyboard itself here, which you can't see right now. And so if I just hit back, I can close that, and I can actually just... Um, close all that up. I can even close that. I can even open that just with the push of a, a button. It's really cool. The pads, I can actually open up. Let's see if I remember which one it is. Oh, I can add a new instrument. Uh, oh yeah, I can open up the channel settings. Super sweet. So I can just kind of scroll down here, open up those channel settings, those. It's it's really neat. Log Lab, uh, classic Juno keys. I don't know how I got a bass out of it. How did I get a bass? I guess I got a bass out of that. And then I just kind of like supported it with, what do we got here? <laughs> Actual bass. There. And I did, I actually kind of um, put that one off to the left just a little bit, off to the right a little bit. Uh, I'm very used to putting bass right in the middle. And I was watching, oh, I can't remember his name. He does a lot of pop production. And I noticed he, he kind of spread out, he kind of like, layer the bass and then spread it out a little bit. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I use leads for my pads. Let's see what it sounds like here. I think it's very, very subtle. I wanted a very much a space feeling. So here's my, so here's that. Yeah, and, and then I just, I heard voices, but I didn't want them to be a real choir. I wanted them to be like, uh, and you'll understand when, when you hear the song, but I wanted them to be sort of like a, AI choir, like a, I don't know how to explain it, but right here, it's called Exists. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can play it. I have the tape plug in, so I have to bring it over here. Uh... Yeah, and uh, you can mess with it, get all kinds of different sounds and notes from it, which are. I want to help you. A very popular serum. I decided to go with pigments. Um, I don't remember why. It's a lot more expensive. Uh, but anyway, I developed this kind of little wub sound. I call it Skrillex because I, I took a tutorial online that showed you how to do it. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, Log Lab, I used Sequence, Outer Space. See the master? I don't know. There's some automation somewhere. I can't find it. If you want to hear the actual song, uh, I'll just leave a link to uh, 
SoundCloud, and then eventually I think I'll upload it to YouTube. But that's it. And uh, I did it all with my MK3 keyboard. Uh, and I'm, I mean, obviously I bought it with my own money. I'm not trying to like simp for Arturi or anything, but I do love their stuff. I love their plugins. Uh, and the keyboard really gave me creative inspiration. So just wanted to share that. And uh, thanks.